Hello, my name's Samuel Keith Harris. I just wanted to mention that my books are out now on Amazon. So if you search Samuel Keith Harris, you'll find my first three books there. Thanks for watching. Now it says in verse 20, but I warn you. So Jesus is going to warn us. Unless your righteousness is better than the righteousness of the teachers of religious law and the Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Now we know that Christ gives us his righteousness, right? So when we believe in Jesus, we have a better righteousness because it's not a righteousness of our own by our good works. It's the righteousness of Jesus Christ given to us by um, grace through faith that we've received by faith. But here, here's the trouble. What, what was the righteousness of the Pharisees? They, they, they heard the law. They taught the law but they didn't do the law. The righteousness of Jesus Christ empowers us to be able to hear the law, to teach the law, and to do the law. To love God with all of our hearts, to love our neighbors as ourselves, which means we do no wrong. If you love your neighbor as yourself, you're not committing adultery because that would cause your neighbor to sin. If you're loving your neighbor as yourself, you wouldn't sexually exploit them through pornography. If you loved your neighbor as yourself, you wouldn't be greedy. If you loved your neighbor as yourself, you wouldn't take things they have or covet things they have. You see, so this standard of love is not what we would normally think. So if you're lacking in, in those areas I just mentioned, you need to repent and be cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Receive the grace of God to triumph over sin. The righteousness of the Pharisees though and i let's listen you might claim the righteousness of jesus christ but it practically plays out in your life you will live righteously if you've received the righteousness of jesus christ the scripture says we know those who have eternal life because they live righteously see first john chapter 3 we know those are of the devil who do not practice righteousness that's what the bible says i'm not saying what your favorite preacher said who cares they're not God. They're not Jesus. And I'm not either. I'm telling you the Bible. Right? I'm speaking on behalf of God. That we, we, we've got to live right.